Hey everybody, what's up? Jesse Burdick here for markbell.com, slingshot.com as well. Just wanted to uh, start these videos and kind of take you through day in the life training at Super Training Gym with the team. Get to be virtual Super Training participants. So we got uh, our boy Sully looking fat on the ground. Now he's moving over to belt squat. Same thing with Smokey. Uh, these are going to be typically part of everybody's winning warm-ups, which is basically just trying to pre-exhaust some lower body stuff before we get into our main session. And everyone's session is a little bit different as we kind of go through doing some... Um, <clears throat> high rep box squats with the with the safety bar everybody working up to i think a heavy uh five or six i can't count really well so as you'll see everyone's stance when we're doing some box squatting is a little bit wider than um a, a free squat stance everyone's sit back shins are a little bit more vertical uh and the reason for that is we're trying to overload hips and hamstrings which is always going to be what we're trying to accomplish with a box squat uh here we have smoke dog getting three plates in getting them moving always get a lot of questions about kind of uh box height when we are doing box squats uh the goal is to kind of get you like right about at parallel or below parallel what we're trying to do is mimic the squat as much as we can without kind of changing um any form there's steph with a nice deadlift there's sully looking fat um we were just talking about this earlier in the studio just how singularly focused sully is and how impressive it is to to watch someone whose one and only goal is to be as strong as fucking possible and um it's pretty fascinating he's he's one of those people who can dial in and you know forget about you know uh video games and everything else that's kind of going on in his life and really only have one thing in mind and all the way down to you know what he's putting in his mouth i'm not going to waste any calories on something that isn't going to get me strong so you got 385 as he's moving up as we're going you can see kind of the wider stance he's doing a good job of keeping those knees out keeping his torso nice and vertical a lot of time that safety bar will kind of bend you over a little bit so he's able to kind of hold that up there and stay nice and strong probably those 17 monsters that he drank helped him kind of stay a little bit vertical here we have smoke going and um, i think it's uh something to talk about is you know having a training crew as you can kind of see he's got enough spotters the intensity is high everyone is going to be kind of pushing each other um <laughs> how healthy sometimes that will get as far as it's like i'm going to do you know five ten more pounds than you um you know that's going to kind of depend on from crew to crew and person to person but it's always good to have someone you know you don't ever necessarily want to be the strongest person in the room right you want to be able to have someone to chase someone to push and you want someone to push you and you also want someone to um to to push yourself so here we have Kirby, kind of flopping on the box a little bit on that first one, but he cleans it up really nicely on the other one. That's something that, you know, people will dive to the box and kind of lose their tightness and lose kind of their groove. Um, it's important to be able to kind of control that negative down to the box and still be able to kind of replicate it coming back up. He did a good job. I think he just got a little bit overexcited. Now we're up to over four plates here. Uh, that's when things can really start to get fun but he makes it look so easy look at that looks great nice power bear shirt on too really uh you know advertising so for you know as the world kind of starts to open up you know if you are interested in doing some training here at super training gym we have open gym 9 to 12 on the weekends something that you can kind of hit us up and let us know that you're interested in we'll make sure that you have um all the things that you need to sign any information that you might have but open gyms are back and we are um, accepting people to get in here. We want to, you know, we want to show everyone how important it is to kind of train in a group environment again. You know, I think there's a lot of people who have been missing that. And I think, you know, once they get a taste for it, I think they'll be back in droves. Here's 314 for Steph. This is a really, really nice pull. She's looking awesome, looking really, really strong. Really, really nice. Really, really good attempt. And the flamboyant belt flip at the end there. That's always good. Here we go. 
Uh, looks like 425 on the bar. Uh, yep. It's going to be probably close to a top set for him here. Um, so a very young kid, very lean, uh, not necessarily a super heavy kid as well. So in order to kind of be able to do this, it's pretty impressive. It stays really, really rigid, does a really good job. That ah, looks like he has a lot more in there. Another 20 or 30 pounds, hopefully, right? So, oh, there we go. Look at look at who's behind him. Look, it's Mr. like top set, Mark Bell. Always gonna kind of come into the gym, make sure that he's you know, seen on video, screaming, trying to motivate people. But where was he when there was only one plate on the bar? So, um, as you guys can tell, Smoke has some, um, some knee wraps on. Uh, he is getting ready for a competition coming up soon. Uh, so, when we talked about uh, starting to get a little bit used to knee wrap because it's been a while, he wanted to know if it would be cool to kind of put those on for a box squat. And uh, I said, yes, absolutely, go for it. Uh, but, you know, have, you know, manage your expectations just like you should with everything else. It's just like, yeah, this, they will, they will help. It's going to be weird, but it'll actually be a very good, um, test to kind of force you to push into those wraps and not let them push you around. Here we go with a, um, a reverse band deadlift after that 314, she jumped up about 20 pounds. A really, really nice pull off of there. That's a really good indicator for her. She's going to have a really, really successful meet coming up. Here we have Sully jumping up to, I think this is 705. Got to take about 14 whiffs of our uh, smelling salts, which is always a good thing. Or no, this is just about 700. 694. I just want everyone to kind of take a look at how much care that Sully does with everything that he's doing. Everything is calculated and everything that he's doing is, you know, has a purpose. And he's just dialed in about as dialed as he can be. Nice flat back, really explosive, great pull. But looks like he's just doing singles today. Probably could have had that for a triple, maybe even five. Here we go, bumping up again, looking like 475-ish. Um, remember that safety bar weighs a little bit more, so if these numbers don't necessarily calculate uh, to you guys watching, safety bar is going to add another 20 pounds or so, uh, depending on the safety bar itself. But again, it's good depth, really good box squat form. You know, fighting that bar as he's starting to come off the box. His chest is going to kind of roll over, but he pushes back into it, tries to stay as static. Yeah, good. That's, a, that's always a good sign that you're working hard when you kind of do get folded over and you can kind of push it back up. It's always nice to have someone there just in case you pass out to wake you up after after the box here. So he jumps up to 425. Still really moving well. But he's he's another one of these guys who you know really got to start to try and maintain control. He can kind of get out of uh, out of control a little bit and that can kind of screw up a little bit of the uh, the form that he's going to have, but he's strong enough to just really kind of fight through it and caffeinate it about as much as possible. Here we are putting a little bit of baby powder on uh, Sully's legs. I mean, they're only white because of the baby powder thing. <laughs> um, so with baby powder, you know, usually we're only going to use this during a meat um, or some sort of meat prep. It's going to help kind of glide that bar up if it does get stuck a little bit. Here he is with 7 to 5, just smashing it to the top. Looks strong. Seems like he's a little excited as well, <laughs> which is always good. Um, he's just so dialed in and so strong he's gonna he's gonna do some amazing things here 705 <laughs> uh so just a kind of quick peek into a um, super training gym again open gyms are open um contact us let us know and uh look forward to moving on to the next one